Hey everyone! This time I'm comparing some colored pencils I got from Wish for free and Prisma colored, colored pencils. It's going to be super hard for these colored pencils by Wish because I can only use 12 colors when working with them compared to 72 different colors when I'm using the Prisma colors. I was just really curious what the ultra hard mode looks like. First, the packaging design of the Wish colored pencil set is definitely cuter. Nothing wrong with the packaging of the Prisma colors. It looks really cool, but it is not as cute as this one here. Another great thing is that the Wish set comes with a pencil sharpener. How cool is that? I haven't used these Prismacolor colored pencils before, so it's going to be the first time for me using both brands. So let's swatch them a bit first. The hardest thing about swatching was to decide which color I should use when I did the Prismacolor side. So I had just one yellow tone in the Wish set, but which one of the four to five Prismacolor yellows I should use? Hmm, the hard life of an artist. As you can see, I got way more pigment on the paper when I'm using the Prismacolor colored pencils. With the ones by Wish, it was nearly impossible to do more than one layer because these pencils do somehow slightly destroy the structure of the paper so that I can put more pigments on top. I'm no expert though, but this is what it felt like when I did this. After I finished the swatches, I did a quick color study and my main problem was that I hadn't a good skin tone in the wish set. So I had a good brown tone, but no lighter tone to blend. And at this point I became really scared to color my picture with the wish set. But I simply love to draw humans and so I wanted to see if I can color my sketch even when I don't have the perfect tones ready. But first I started with the Prismacolor side. And I am so in love with these colored pencils. I used polychromos before and I had no clue how high quality wax based colored pencils would work. Polychromos are oil based by the way. And it was easier for me to get an even look with the colors on the paper, which is something I still struggle a lot when I work with polychromos. I really enjoyed working with the Prismacolor set the whole time and at first I started with the hair. I wanted to have a really light green tone and so I worked with a yellow tone and a green. After that I went on to the face and that was not that easy to color because I haven't colored a dark skin tone with colored pencils before. So I decided to use a light skin tone first and then a brown tone for the second layer. For blending I used a colorless blender sometimes for both sides. And then I simply worked my way through the skin. I added a dark brown, purples and a light pink for the blush. I was really insecure over a long period of time about how the skin tone will come out, but in the end I feel like I got a good result. Now to the flowers. <laughs> my main problem with flowers is that I can't color them. Not at all. I love them, that's why I draw them all the time, but the colored result looks always like crap. <laughs> my main problem is that I can't see my pencil lines anymore after I did the first layer of my base tone. And then I need to color basically blindly and that doesn't look good. I also changed my mind about the color of the flowers because in my professional color study you could see that I wanted to go with the blue, but then I didn't want to incorporate a whole new color, that's why I used purple and added just some little touches of blue to shade that flower a bit. Yeah, coloring the flowers was definitely really hard for me and they are looking really stupid in the end. But I won't give up, I will just try again and again until I can color flowers with colored pencils. And then it was time for me to do the other side. <sighs> I decided to start with the hair because 
this was the easiest part on the other side. At first I thought I would get just around 10% of the vibrancy of the prismacolor side, but surprisingly it went really well. I was able to layer the colors a bit better and so I was really happy with the hair part. And then it was time for me to do the face. This time I had no skin tone and so I did the first layer with the brown color. And to include a lighter warm tone I decided to use orange too. But this was a mistake I regretted later. But yeah, first I simply went on and I needed to improvise a lot with these colored pencils. I really tried hard to get a cool tone to her face by adding a purple. A purple, basically the only purple in the set. <laughs> but this orange tone of my second layer was definitely a mistake. So I erased a lot and luckily it came off a bit. And then I added purple to almost every part of her face to tone it down. Instead of being able to shade with the dark brown tone or one of a few brown tones, I used my black tone. Instead of using one of my few blush tones on the prismacolor side, I used orange and pink. And instead of using a very light gray color for the chin part, I used purple. Again! Then it was time for me to do the flowers and yeah, I don't need to say that much about it, right? But surprisingly it was a bit easier to color the flowers with the wish set because there weren't that many pigments on the paper after my first layer so that I could see my pencil lines. Yes! That was really helpful but in the end the flowers don't really look better. <laughs> So all in all, I can definitely say that I was surprised about the result. I expected the wish side to be a complete disaster. It doesn't look that super fancy compared to the prismacolor side in my opinion, but I was really impressed that I was able to improvise that well with these few colored pencils. On the other hand, I was sometimes a bit overwhelmed by the color choices I had with the 72 prismacolors. And I don't think that I need that many colors. Now I learned that I can easily mix many colors by myself by layering and blending. This is something I didn't know I'm able to do with colored pencils before. And this is a tip I can give you. You don't need the biggest set of an art supply. Just go with a smaller set. Of course it's a bit harder to mix the colors by yourself than just using a pre-mixed version. But when it is mixed, it can definitely be a more interesting color with different variations than just a flat and boring tone. Yeah, these are now my both colored parts of the picture. Let me know what you think and which side you prefer. And also what color pencils you are currently using and if you are enjoying them. If you liked this video, please share it with your friends and thank you so much for watching and I see you. Hopefully next week. Bye bye.